thank you for joining us for this press conference with Dean Alga. Um, uh, hello, Dean. Um, I, I was just wondering, there's been so much, um, I guess, bad news around South African cricket in the last couple of days. Um, and then you have another blow within the team this morning. Um, as captain, how are you managing um, all of these things and, and, and the questions that a lot of players must have? Has it been a, has it been a tough couple of days for you? Uh, hi, Stu. Um, no, it hasn't really been too tough for us. I think as a players group, we've, we've kind of gotten used to some bad news around us the last uh, year, year and a half. So I think um, as a players group, we, we kind of adapt to it accordingly. Um, it's, not, it's not ideal, obviously, to have these headlines coming up. Um, we just want to focus on our cricket. We want to focus on playing a, a series, a really tough series against India. It's great to have India in South Africa again. Um, but yeah, I think as a players group, we're kind of used to it. Um, that's no excuse to have those kind of headlines though. Um, so yeah, for us, it's all about focusing on cricket, focusing on our next few days of preparation. Um, and yeah, and kind of and kind of nail down our cricketing skill. Um, so yeah. Hi, Dean. Um, at least you're not in a 16-hour power cut like we are here in Cape Town. But um, I just want to ask you, with, with Anrik Nokia being injured and obviously Lungi hasn't played for, for quite a few months, how ready is your attack and what combination are you looking at? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's obviously uh, it's not ideal with the, with the last COVID scares that you've had and uh, a few players being, being maybe set back with injury or being rested. It's not ideal that they haven't had a lot of playing time. But be, be as it may, it is what it is. And uh, we've had three very good days so far yeah, yeah, in Joburg uh, with regards to preparation. Um, I think mentally is another side of the game that we need to tap into a little bit. Um, playing time is one thing, but also being mentally ready is extremely important for me. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's been, uh, there's been a few setbacks. Um, but you know, we're a professional outfit. Um, we're playing professional cricket and we're going to play against the best team in the world and uh, we have no excuses uh, to leave a stone unturned. Um, so yeah, we've, uh, we've put everything in place so far that, uh, that our players can best prepare and get themselves match ready. We try to simulate a game the last uh, three days, which, uh, which has been pretty productive for the guys. And um, uh, it's all about building the intensity as well. I know we've got to be mindful with regards to uh, bowlers' workloads because they haven't had a lot of game time, but we're very mindful of that. But again, we, we, need to, uh, we need to crack on as a team. Uh, we can't let those setbacks uh, keep us behind and, uh, and not prepare ourselves best for, for what's going to be a really good uh, series against India. Just that's all, then Ben Cut and Ken and then Amitala. Just that's all. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. Good afternoon to Dean. Uh, Dean, with that said, uh, what kind of conditions are you expecting uh, 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 at Centurion? I hope the rain stays away. Um, there's been quite a lot of rain of late yeah, in Kauteng. Um, so I hope that stays away so we can get five days of, of good cricket in, uh, in Centurion. Um, yeah, Centurion has been providing pretty good wickets of late. Um, so I think we're going to have a pretty good cricket wicket uh, in Centurion. Um, it's always been a pretty good place. If you apply yourself as a batsman, you're going to get results and you're going to, you're going to more times than none, get some runs under your belt. Um, but also, it's also a wicket with, uh, with ball in hand. You can always exploit the conditions if you've got a little bit of extra pace and bounce. Um, so yeah, it's, it's going to be, I think it's, I'm hoping for very good cricket wicket. Um, that's at least been the message that's been uh, sent out to the groundsman to, to prepare a pretty good cricket wicket. Uh, Captain, this is Venkat. Uh, just like, you know, like given the fast bowling resources you have in the lineup, uh, what kind of uh, uh, pitches do we expect through the series? Because last time you guys played in a very spicy track in South Africa, can we expect a similar one this time too? There's always a little bit of spice in South African wickets, especially in the high felt. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't see it changing too much. But uh, just to touch on the previous question, I'll answer that. And uh, again, if you apply yourself as a batter, if you nail down your skills and your disciplines, and uh, you kind of put away score a few scoring shots, you can really score runs uh, in Centurion. Um, again, with ball in hand, you can you can exploit the conditions if you've got a bit of pace and bounce, and if you've got some skill and and be a bit a little bit patient uh, from a bowling point of view. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much going to be what we're going to be up against. Okay. Uh, thanks, Hi, uh, Dean. Compliments of the season to you. Um, just touching on on Venkat's question, the, the last time India were here, you were one of only two batsmen to average over forty. Uh, Virat Kohli being the other one. Um, you're now the captain, but the batting lineup has also lost Hashim, Ab, Faf. Um, is this? 
added pressure on you? Or are you really feeling the responsibility that you're going to have to lead the way again uh, with the bat? I think naturally, Ken, I always want to do that. Um, it doesn't matter who I've had in my in my team or which teammates I've had in the past. I've always wanted to be someone who leads from the front with a bat. Um, so I know scoring runs is a, a massive role for me within the side, uh, let alone being the, the captain and the leader of the team. Making those decisions are also extremely important. But um, scoring runs for me is, is, is quite a big percentage of my job still within the side. Um, I'm never going to run away from that responsibility. It's, I think it's something that maybe works in my favour. and Hopefully, I can continue. Hopefully, I can average a little bit more in this series against India. Hi, Dean. Uh, uh, I just want to ask uh, about the... Uh, we had a great uh, series last time in 2018 when uh, against your Indian bowling attack, strong bowling attack, your batting lineup. We had a great series. This time, how do you are looking at that contest? Especially with your batting, uh, uh, lacking the experience of a Fab Duplessis and... Others, your thoughts? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, it's 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 uh, it's something that we know as a, as a unit that we have a pretty young and inexperienced batting lineup. But for me, it's an opportunity based batting lineup. Uh, guys are going to get opportunities, and they need to they need to best prepare, obviously, before that uh, the, the encounters against the Indian bowling attack, and they need to take their opportunities. I think um, professional cricket is about taking your opportunities and, and making a position your own, and. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be a message that I've been sending through for, for the last few months that opportunities are there. Guys need to obviously uh, make those positions their own. And if they, if they don't, there'll be other guys knocking on the door. We have had a lot of other guys knocking on the door. And um, yeah, it's, it's definitely not a foreign uh, area or territory that we've, that we've been experiencing. Um, I think there's still a lot of recruitment, no doubt. And um, I don't think we're far away from actually having a few of those batters come in and cement their, their positions. But um, it's always going to be tough playing against the best side in the world. They've got a very good bowling lineup, and we, we're aware of that. And uh, yeah, I think opportunities is the one word that screams out um, uh, to me, which obviously I'm sure our other batters are pretty much aware of that as well. Um, how's it, Dean? Um, we've heard how tough it's been in South African cricket for a lot of this press conference and we've also seen you smiling through those questions um, you know is this and we've seen over the years you in some really tough battles on the field um, do you think these kind of scenarios when life isn't altogether rosy is that you know it kind of plays into your corner and almost suits the way you want to do things do you agree with that not necessarily, Telford. I think um, I think you're always trying to implement a game, uh, implement a game plan with these kind of things. Um, and I think you've got to be quite sincere, and you've got to you got to trust that kind of game plan. Um, what happens off the field for me is irrelevant now. Um, I mean, us as a players' unit, as mentioned in the first question, we've we've been through such uh, crappy times that um, we've actually formulated such a good bond with within our group. And um, for me, it's not an excuse for us to use. Um, if it happened in the first, if we were in the first month of all these bad uh, kind of scenarios, then maybe it might be that. But we've been there, and I think we've maybe formulated something that that works for us. And uh, uh, again, I refer to us as a players group. We we're extremely strong. Our culture has been tested and pushed to levels that uh, I didn't think it would be pushed to in my short term of being captain. And uh, I think we've come out on top of it. And um, it's all about still the learning processes behind that. We we, we must always still be mindful that. Even though if things are bad off the field, we can't use that as a cop-out for us. Um, we're a professional team. We're prof professional players. We want to strive to areas still with, with regards to where we want to go as a team. We still want to go up the, the ranking uh, system still. Um, and and that's, that's our process going forward. We focus on cricket and hopefully cricket will look after us. Yeah. Hi, Dean. Um, so a uh, couple of years ago, you came to India and one of the surprising things from that series was how how much the Indian fast bowlers outbowled the South African fast bowlers there. So having been through that experience, like what do you expect from India's fast bowlers on this tour and how has your preparation for that challenge been? Yeah, I think um, the Indian lineup has been uh, in, uh, uh, immensely improved bowling lineup, especially playing away from home as well. Um, I as mentioned earlier, we've been very mindful of that we're going to be up against it, uh, against uh, the, the bowling attack, um, which is which is perfectly okay for us. Um, you know, being in South Africa, I'd like to think uh, we're a lot more feel accustomed. We feel feel a lot more custom at home in our conditions, and hopefully we can come out and use that as as an advantage for us. Um, so yeah, we we know that it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for the Indian batters to face our bowlers as well. And, I'd rather be sitting here knowing that than uh, possibly sitting in the Indian dressing room knowing that they have to face our bowlers. 
Hi, hi, Dean. Uh, I just wanted to ask Ravi Chandra and Ashwin is someone who has had success against you guys, be it on the Indian wickets. How important do you think it would be to be proactive against him and not let it, not let him settle at the crease? Yeah, he hasn't had a lot of success in South Africa, which is which is okay for us. Um, <laughs> we can't really compare the the success he's had in India against South Africa because the conditions are so dissimilar that. Um, yeah, that's not really realistic for us to focus on that. Um, I think we've got to focus on our game plans, which we've obviously been working on hard. Uh, each player has been uh, working hard at his individual game plans. I think it's difficult to focus on one player in their side. Um, they're a good side all around, and they, I think they're ticking all the boxes with regards to covering their bases from a bowling front. Um, so, yeah, it's difficult. He's a, he's a quality spinner, one of the, the best uh, off spinners India's ever produced. Um, and we're mindful of that. It's always a good challenge facing those guys, and you want to compete and compare yourself against those, those best players in the world. Um, so, yeah, I think it's a little bit difficult just to focus on, on the one guy. Up next is um, Aditya, Kirsty, Seaport, the dose, and then we'll finish with Indrajit, and then that's it. Then my words are finished. <laughs> yeah, how's it, Dean? Um, at, at the end of uh, the West Indies series, you said that you used the period between the West Indies series and India to sort of develop a test cricket. Uh, so how has your preparation been in that period of time when most of the team was playing whiteboard cricket? Well, I think it's obviously been a time for me to reflect. There's been a lot of uh, time since June, July when we played last. So I have had a lot of time to sit down and reflect and work on areas where I think we need a bit of development. And uh, I mean, I'm not going to allude to that now because that's speaking out of the change room. Um, so yeah, there's, there's from a, from my point of view, my capacity as captain, I've, I've definitely worked, uh, I've worked and had a lot of time to think about that. Um, I know uh, a lot of the current players haven't had a lot of four-day cricket or test cricket under their belt. They've been playing a lot of white ball cricket. Um, so yeah, it's just about me sending a, a strong message to the guys, and the guys will obviously uh, respond to the message that I that I kind of want to bring forward. Percy, thank you so much, Mikazi. Uh, good, uh, good, uh, good afternoon, Dean. Did I just ask you? I, I'm assuming the expectation was that initially you guys were going to play in front of your home crowd for this series, though. So is that a bit of a setback for you guys not having that strong support um, this time around, and uh, an, another another December or Boxing Day Test series? Um, it is it is quite disappointing if if I if I'm being brutally honest. Um, I think as South African players, we are deprived of playing in front of a crowd. Um, yeah, it's 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 very frustrating knowing that that we, we're not going to have people watching us, and uh, I think it's pretty frustrating for South African public as well. Um, yeah, pretty disappointed that we can't uh, showcase uh, our, our great format that we have in Test cricket in front of pretty passionate uh, supporters, even though it will only be would have been. 2,000 people, it's still better than nothing. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty disappointed that um, we, we're not going to have crowds. Um, afternoon, Dean. Um, just a question on, on how the team has received Juan Olivier's um, selection into the test team, his comeback. How has the team received him? Um, and how have you as a captain received him? Yeah, um, I'll start with the first part. Uh, the team's responded very well towards him. Um, I think um, he play, he's played with, with quite a lot of the uh, guys before in the past and uh, he's had a lot of the Lions teammates now in the last four a few domestic competitions that we've played. Um, so, yeah, I think his response or his, his, the players have responded pretty well to him being back. Um, to answer my point, my part, I want our best opportunity to win matches and win series. And I think in order for that, you need to make tough calls on bringing people back, for instance. Um, I was I was someone who was very keen to have him back. Um, and, uh, can you turn your thank you? Um, yeah, uh, so I'm pretty pretty happy to have him back. Pretty excited to have him back in uh, in our mix, knowing that what he can do on the field. I mean, there's no there's no uh, uh, bad feelings about what's happened in the past. Um, I, I want to win cricket uh, cricket matches for South Africa. I want to win series for South Africa, and I'm pretty sure I've got 100 back in when it comes to that in our change room. Um, so yeah, it's, it's nice to have him back. He adds a little bit of a different intensity, a little bit of a different energy. You can see he's a he's a, a different cricketer to what he was the first time he played for us, um, which is awesome for us. Um, so obviously he's he's trip away from South Africa. He's learned a lot of experience. He's played a lot of cricket in in the UK. Um, so he's bringing a lot of um, knowledge and experience back into the change room, um, which is something that we we need at the moment. Um, yeah, he's a he's a match winner, which is something uh, I'm very very aware of. And uh, if he if he can win cricket matches for us, then it's I'm I'm, I'm all for having him back. 
Been, I don't mean to uh, sound like a negative Nancy, but you've been speaking a little bit about how tough things have been. And I just want to know from the player's perspective, what has actually been the toughest thing? <laughs> you asked me how I answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, from the player's perspective, what, what, have, what has been the toughest thing about the last two years? Um, it's a tough one. We've had, we've had so many different uh, uh, administrators that uh, we don't even know who's there now. Um, I think maybe backing has been um, something that's been pretty pretty tough, especially backing with regards to our coaches and our team management. Um, I don't think we've received a lot of good stuff around that. And I think um, from a player's point of view, we we maybe have to say, you know what, we back our coaches, we back our management, we need to give them a lot of love. I think sometimes they put in so much work, it gets unnoticed and it gets watered down by media and it gets watered down by articles. And uh, I think that's the biggest thing because I know what they do behind the scenes. And for me, that speaks volumes when it comes to our environment. Um, so I think that's one of the biggest the biggest things is that we we've, we haven't had a lot of stability from an administrative point of view. And hopefully hopefully sooner than later, there's a lot more stability that comes uh, within the cricket South Africa. But um, yeah, it's not nice to see our coaches get lambasted for for, for things and I know the work they're putting in uh, behind the scenes which which no one else sees only us as a as a players group uh, we, we we notice that and we see that and we're extremely grateful for the hard work that they put in um, so yeah I'd say that's one of the the biggest um, downsides of what's been happening in the last while yeah yeah hi Dean uh, Jashwit Bumrah has been uh, uh... A threat in the foreign conditions. So, how are you guys prepared to face him? And do you do you feel that he's a, he can be a threat in the South African conditions? Yeah, he's a he's a world class bowler. Um, I mean, if, I think if there's one bowler that could uh, exploit South African conditions pretty well, it, it, it would be him. Um, but again, we can't focus on one guy. That's the same question to Ashwin. I'm not going to sit here and focus on uh, one or two players. Um, I think India as a whole are pretty pretty good side. They've been a, a pretty good side for the last say, two to three years. And um, they've toured very well of late. Um, so I'm not going to I'm not going to focus on one player. I'm sorry. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. Um, and